and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Wide Family Farm. Today we are going to be making dilly beans and I was lucky enough to find some Mrs. Wages packets. And I love Mrs. Wages because all the spices and everything are already in the packets and you don't have to mess around with any extra ingredients. So come along with us while we make dilly beans using our Chinese noodle beans. Okay, so first things first, I got seriously five pounds here of Chinese noodle beans. And we're gonna use these for the dilly beans. Um, and look, they're freaking huge, guys, freaking huge. So I'm gonna wash these up real quick. Just, you know, get the dust and stuff off of them. And then I'm going to cut them in the lengths of the jar. And uh, we will be using the pine mason jars with the wide uh, lids, wide the wide mouth and these are clean and ready to go make sure everything's sterile guys everything has to be sterile so i'm just going to wash these up some of these got a little big because we left them on the vine for so long um but you know we can't be out there every day picking this up we try but like this one for instance is freaking huge Rinse them off, and then I'm gonna cut them off. Um, what I'm gonna do is make sure that they, for they are the length of the jar, is I'm gonna use a jar to measure with. So I'm gonna use this jar to measure the length and make sure. So I'm gonna use this bean as a start. And then I'm going to cut off the ends. So that's about right. So I'm just going to use this as like my measuring tool for every bean. Um, the recipe also calls that you pack these loosely as well. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to find out, aren't we? That's what I'm going to do. I'm covering the beans with water and then you have to cook them down. You cook them down for five minutes and let them simmer. Um, basically, you just have to get them a little less stiff than what they are. I'm filling this up with water. It's a lot of beans, guys. Not going to lie. with this this is what I got you can see that and the recipes on the back okay so I'm following the directions of um, the beans and basically you bring them to a boil and then at that point you let them simmer um, for five minutes so I'm already at two minutes now and um, 
We're just gonna wait and then you have to drain these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Look how good they look though, guys. It's awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is drain my beans. They made the water purple. <laughs> kind of cool. Smells like beans in here, guys. Okay, so I needed two and a half cups of vinegar and two and a half cups of water, and then we need to add sugar. And that is one cup of sugar, guys. Cup of sugar. Adding the packet. Ooh, it smells like dough. So we did all the necessary steps um, on the packet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put these in the jars and we need a half inch headspace. This is gonna be interesting packing these in here, I think. But we'll see. And um, because of these, the water turned purple. So that's another gonna be interesting thing. Ooh, that's strong. Try to get more solids and then top it off with juice so you don't use up all your juice. Okay. You know what I mean? You put them in there and I'll... And poke at them? You it's gotta right. burp them for sure, I'm sure. This is gonna be very interesting, because we've never had these before. And not only have we never had them before, but this, we never, I mean, this is Chinese noodle beans, and they're purple, so the whole jar right. is going to be purple. It's going to be enough beans, and you're going to do that. Vinegar is choking me Okay, so you need a half inch headspace. You put a lid on and a rim at fingertip tight. Fingertip tight is basically you screw it down till it stops and then you go you tweak it a little bit that's fingertip tight and then we're going to go ahead and put it in the water bath canner this particular recipe um, for these kind of jars it says the process pints at 20 minutes and quarts at 30 minutes <laughs>
So now we're going to put these in the water bath canner um, for 20 minutes and um, they will be ready and shelf stable. Um, you set them on a washcloth or set them aside for 24 hours and um, once they all steal, uh, seal, um, you'll be good to go. Okay guys, so let's take a closer look at the finished product. Um, so we put the pints in there for 20 minutes and then um, I just now took them out of the water bath uh, canner. So let's take a closer look. Oh yeah, so cool guys. And they're purple from the beans. They're really hot yet. I'm still waiting for them to seal. But they look delicious. We had a f one little mishap with the Mrs. Wages. We had the brine that we used, we didn't have a whole lot of. Um, I don't know if we had too many beans, I don't know, but we did it all by weight, so I don't know what happened there. But we added more vinegar to the brine, and that helped a little bit. So we ended up with one, two, three, five pints of dilly beans, and we tasted what was left in the pot, and it was absolutely delicious. We had never had this recipe before, and it was so good, guys. It was really good. Um, so I encourage you to try this recipe. Um, pick up your packets at your local, you know, Rural King or Tractor Supply, or even uh, I think grocery stores have the Mrs. Wages um, packets in the canning aisle. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you all in the next video.